change maker, you saw Mapa Gandhi said, Bangladesh has had new standards. Added, Madhya this is the central state. We can drink our coke without a straw. Yeah. For sure, you agree? Yeah. So why don't we simply abolish all these dry plastic items which we don't need? I worked very closely with Prime Minister Modi on this four years back. And now he has delivered exactly what they promised. Such a credit to him because he has abolished a huge amount of single-use plastic items in India. So, is climate change is really real? Absolutely, no doubt. No doubt? It's not a Chinese agenda they try to force it? Absolutely, no, but uh, give the credit to the Chinese that they are among those who are now moving fastest into renewable energies. Uh, climate change is seen all over the planet all the time. Just these days, the United Kingdom had the highest temperature ever in its history. A wildfires in, in Europe and of course in India. They had a extreme weather in, in, like, like, in, like in May. There's some of the highest temperatures ever were measured in India and in Pakistan. So, uh, what is this world vision you're working for with different sort of countries? I would like to know. It's very simple. We have a triple environment crisis in the 21st century. Sure. Climate change, pollution and destruction for nature. But we also have all the means needed to stop this and to move into the green revolution. So, the most important is the renewable revolution. So, morning India and good morning Bhopal. Today I am with, with the very, very, very our own guest Mr. Eric Solomon. Welcome to India and welcome to Bhopal especially. I'm so happy to be here in Bhopal, it's a great state of Madhya Pradesh and also to be on your show. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you so much for giving us this time in a, such a short notice. Mm -hmm. One question I would like to ask, is it the first time in Bhopal? It's, I've been to maybe 20 states of India but the first time to the state of Madhya Pradesh. And how Bhopal is different from other cities? It's a very green city and I, I know no other Indian city which is at such a great lake which is even a Ramsar. Uh, wetland uh, registered uh, site, right. so which is, was made by humans thousand years ago. Yes. So it's a fantastic location of the city, and it's a green city. And I can also see that there is a lot of development going on, like this fantastic, beautiful new university. Okay. I wish I was young so I could start studying here. <laughs> so, with this development and the population in India, what are your one or two tips you would like to give us? so that we can start doing in our own way. I mean, uh, that was really great. You said it, plant one tree a day. We can go for electric mobility as well. Mm. Uh, we can reduce the plastic in our own life. Mm. But apart from that, if you want to think bigger, mm. what are the other ways we can include as an, in, a, in, a, in our political agendas or in our law policy, which can really help us to get our city even more uh, renewable, if I said. Mm. First of all, no one should blame India for climate change. Okay. Uh, American emissions per capita are 25 times Indian up to this point. Yeah. So arrogant Europeans should stop blaming India. Yeah. But India should act because climate change is a major challenge to India. But mainly because it's an enormous opportunity. Because if India moves from coal into solar, which is now doing at very high speed, good for the environment, good for the health, but also very good for the economy because solar is cheaper and creating more jobs than coal. So renewable energy, electric mobility, as you said, we're going into electric cars and electric scooters, doing tree planting and protecting nature, and seeing the enormous opportunities in tourism, linked to the fact that Madhya Pradesh is a tiger state, too. and moving into uh, uh, the circular economy. Why do we need a plastic cup? Can't you drink from a no normal glass? So now too much about uh, this whole vision thing. Let's come back to a little bit personal. Mm -hmm. I, my audience and I would like to know you more personally. So that next yes. time when you come here, I would like to have one or your two times, like we can have a breakfast mm -hmm. or lunch, mm -hmm. something together. Happy so time. who ex exactly, so who you are as a person and uh, just tell some more about our audience. Well, I'm a Norwegian, I have four children and I want a better world for them and they are also now active in different ways for the, for the environment. I think my environment kind of startup was in the Norwegian mountains when I was a kid because for every holiday we spent up in the mountains and we can eat for moose uh, uh, or different animals and of course we, there were many cows there, we were following the cows, even milking the cows. So this gave me a big, big heart for the, for the environment and the rest of my life I spent 
very controlled environment, working for bringing people out of poverty and try to create peace in Sri Lanka and, and other places. And how did you work uh, to uplift people from poverty? Because this is very uh, challenging topic for our India. But we know how to do it because a number of nations have done it. Mm. Look to say South Korea, it was one of the most dirt poor places in the world in the 90s. That was one of the richest nations in the world. Yeah. And if you are so lucky to be a young girl born in South Korea today, on average you will be 90, the highest in the world. In Singapore, Vietnam, China, they all brought hundreds of millions out of poverty. And this is now happening in India. Very briefly, you need a good political leadership who are regulating markets and setting the direction. India do have that with Prime Minister Modi and the Chief Minister of the State of Madhya Pradesh and many other leaders. Secondly, you need business because without a market economy, you can do nothing. In India now have big companies like Adani, Reliance, Tata, startups like Ola, which is starting into the renewable parts space. And thirdly, you need education. And that's why it's so good to be at a university. I am not aware of any really poor person in the world who is properly educated. With education can the uplifting from poverty. And so what are the goals you would like to see in next five years in India and in MP specifically? What are the changes? I like to see India being the lead of the world in this green revolution, not alone but with the Europe and China and the United States and others. There's a saying in the old Vedas, the whole world is one family. Yeah. And we need to work together for this goal. But India can lead in many ways. It will soon be the second biggest solar nation in the world, for, for example. Uh, and I see enormous opportunities from Madhya Pradesh. Look to solar, for instance. We have a huge landmass in, in the Madhya Pradesh, mm -hmm. very well suited for solar plants. We are very central in India, close to Mumbai, close to Delhi, yeah. close to the south. That's the heart so, of India. I mean, the, the name is the central state. Yes, yeah, exactly. So it, it can produce solar for, for all of, of, over India. And it can be a nature state with wetlands, target protection, attracting numerous tourists, which again are creating jobs. So I see Madhya Pradesh being at the center of this green revolution now happening in India. And what is your favorite food so far you tried in India? Uh, I love Indian food and you won't believe it, but I believe we have the best Indian restaurants outside India, right there in Norway. My, <laughs> yeah. my, my good friend from Punjab is running five Indian restaurants in Oslo. They're fully packed every evening. Wow. When I was a child, we had no spices in Norway because yeah. our food is so boring. Yeah. But now in you Norwegians know, like Brits and uh, people all over the world adopting to, uh, to Indian food. My favorite would be like, um, Paneer tikka, I love that. Chicken tikka, uh, and a vegetarian Indian great dish. True. Uh, and of course, always with the great Indian breads. I love naan, but all the southern Yeah, the Indian butter, also. the garlic naan. The garlic naan is fantastic. Yeah. And what drink you go for? There, I have to tell you, I love Indian food and European drinks. <laughs> and what is that, that combination beer, of European drinks? Beer, beer is fantastically suited. Beer. Have you tried beers here? Yeah, I mean, the Indian beers are good. Yeah. But as we have a, taken Indian food to Europe, yeah. you have taken European beers too. Uh, I to, have to, brought to a European <laughs> chef with me. Oh, great. <laughs> so no, I mean, the, the beer came from Germany and yeah. other places to India. But remember, India was the colony under the United Kingdom. Mm -hmm. Today, there are hundreds of thousands of Indian restaurants in Great Britain. Totally. I have never seen an English restaurant in India. Have you? I will make it. Okay. That dream come true. Okay. I promise okay. on that. So next time when you are in the visit of Madhya Pradesh, we would like to invite him for the first ever Madhya Pradesh European cuisine. Okay. Only in the greenish and the most beautiful land. I will be your first customer. Thank you so much. I lo loved your interview. Have okay. a great day. Thank you. We will have Thank co sir. Thank you. You could Wait. Yeah, start. Okay, so hi. Uh, thank you so much for organizing everything in such a short notice. We loved your company. Just tell me what is your big mission for India? So we are just carrying forward the vision of the Prime Minister Narendra Modi when he announced that we are celebrating 75 years of independence now. It was in 19, 1945, starting from 1857, when young people and students came together in leading the revolution and the independence movement. Now, we can't forget that 2022 is the 75 years of independence. Mm. But what next? 
So we envision towards 2047 when young people like me, Tanisha or Shristi, would be coming up and taking leadership as pro chancellors, as vice chancellors, as uh, academicians, as politicians, and that exactly should be the roadmap that we create from now to then. And that exact that could be the big mission maybe. Yeah. So thank Beautiful. you so much. And what is that inspiration take you to that founding this youth for green hydrogen? Or the youth of India, the inspiration was a no. We heard no everywhere and my, yeah. my father has told me that we take no as a new opportunity and I think that has been the inspiration. So what is the beautiful quote you would always have in your mind? I, I take what Eric always tells me, be the change you want to see and I think when messages like that, elders like you know Prashant sir come up and bless us and energize us. As an individual, I am not having the capacity to do something but this is the energies of the Panch Tattva that we talk about or the universal language that we could think of come together in driving us and we are just a medium like the empty class so thank you so much Aditi, for thank you so much so man thank, thank you i appreciate that <laughs> 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 by the way i never meet you before i'm dr prashanjan the pro chancellor of the university sage university beautiful sir so good the beautiful campus you have you. Uh, created is amazing when we first coming in there's so much happening and like still there i think there's a lot of infrastructure needed to be placed yes absolutely actually it is just a newborn university it is just three years old and the dream and the vision of our chancellor mr sanjeev agrawal is you are just seeing yeah so he is the main visionary person behind all of the things right so sir i born up here yes. and now i'm back from new zealand so i've seen a lot of progression happened in bhopal so how and what do you see stage for next five years sir and what we can give yes. to that population Sage. and the students to Bhopal. Sage is the top of the world in the next five years. Boom! <laughs> that is As a super the Bhopal, ambitious. You are from the Bhopal. Yeah. So Bhopal must be in the global scenario yeah. just because of the Sage University. And as Eric says, we are focusing on the renewable energy. So we work on it. Our Chancellor's vision, our Executive Director's vision, they all are saying we are implemented by solar panel here. Okay. We are now going to uh, install a wind turbine. Right. So we are working on that in the green you see. And then your students, do they also get aware that the cups they use, the glass bottles yes. they use, the spoon, the straw yes. as Mr. Eric mentioned? Definitely. Actually, we were the first university, I thought in India, but Centre India is 100%, which, which is giving the green credit to the student in the, uh, his mark sheet. Green? Credit. Green credit? Yeah. Wow. We, okay. are, we are giving the green credit. Actually, two credits are there. Well, once the student has taken the admission, he has to show a tree there and he has to caretake for all his uh, course duration. When he has passed out, the tree will be pure, then he will carry the two green credits. So this is very uh, innovative concept to make our country even more greener, you know. Yes. Uh, who come with this idea? We all, actually we had a core meeting, so we all are coming in that, so this is the idea. Beautiful, sir. Thank you so thank much. You, Anything you, you would like to tell our audience to inspire? And yeah, one question. What is that quote which makes you get up every morning and make you keep working? Bas, ye din aaj ka aur hai. Is ke liye, is din ke liye aaj jeena hai. Bas, ye ek hi din hai. Isko jitna jee sakte jee. Beautiful, sir. Or sir, aapka favorite food kya hai, Bhopal? Ab main being a Jain, to pure vegetarian hu. So Bhopal mein to pure vegetarian kuch milta hi nahi hai, acha. अगर आप वैसे बोलोगे लेकिन भोपाल अब बहुत चेंज हो गया है और मुझे लगता है दाल बाटी एज आई फ्रॉम इंदौर तो दाल बाटी ऑलवेज फैसिनेट दैट्स ब्यूटीफुल सर सो माय ऑडियंस इफ यू रियली लाइक टू ट्राई समथिंग इन भोपाल इन प्योर वेज आई थिंक दाल बाटी इज द वन ऑफ द फूड टू गो एंड वी ऑल्सो ट्राइड इट ही ऑल्सो ट्राइड इट एज अ यूरोपियन द फर्स्ट टाइम द दाल बाटी सर दैट वॉज ग्रेट थैंक यू सो मच फॉर योर इंटरव्यू थैंक यू